what the cuisine of Moldova is all about. Moldovan pie. There's only 15 lei as well, which I think is really good for the size of it that you get. We probably mm -hmm. could have done with one. No rock. No rock. Look at that. Oh, it does look good. Oh my god. It smells so good. Eyes too big. Ah, belly. Good morning from Chisinau, Moldova, and today we are going to be doing something that we have to do in every single city and place and country that we go to. I don't know why I just clicked. I was clicking away, um, and that is a food tour. We're going to be doing it by ourselves. Um, sometimes we do do it with people, but most of the time we do it on our own because we like to find the best things ourselves um, and sort of some, hopefully, some secret places with the cuisine in Moldova it is very much a mixture so a lot of the things are very similar to the food that we have had in our Romania series and we did try a lot of that they obviously have a very slight different way of making it but also there is a influence from Russia um, obviously with it being part of the Soviet Union so there was a a big mix and fusion of the two cuisine so i'm excited to try it today we're going to i clicked again what is going on i'm excited to try it today and to see what the cuisine of moldova is all about i really am hungry this morning i made sure i didn't eat too much of the breakfast at our hotel so i was ready for a breakfast when i do this little food tour in like chronological order as we walk through the arc de triomphe of Chisinau, um start with some breakfast have like loads of lunch dishes, maybe have some dinner dishes. I suppose lunch and dinner is the same thing. Have some beers, of course you can't not have some beers. And then probably end with like a dessert somewhere. Try out three to four different restaurants. There's so many different traditional restaurants here. But first we are gonna try Placinta, which is like a pastry. It's the Moldovan pie. Um, it's layered with all different sorts of fillings um, and you can find them anywhere. So we're gonna try and find a local calf that's busy. You always want a busy local calf. If you find a busy local calf, you know that the placenta is the best. They actually call their bakeries or cafes patisserie. So similar to, I think it's French, isn't it, a patisserie? So they're actually quite fancy bakeries. Normally we used to go into a very local bakery, but out in Moldova where you find the uh, placentes is a nice, fancy, busy bakery. We found a busy bakery to get our placenta cubranza, my best pronunciation two. of cheese pies. It's yeah, we're having two. Filling. What is the filling with this? Is it cheese? cheese? This one's cheese, White sure? cheese, oh yeah. This is how it is done. You grab your placenta cubranza, which is the one with cheese. You can also get them with cabbage, potato, and there's also dessert ones. You can't- We're gonna try one of them later. Mm -hmm. You walk into the dead center of Chisinau next to the Nativity Cathedral, next to the Arc de Triomphe, and you take a bite. This is breakfast, this is how it's done. If you're on the go, you need to get to work, you're in a rush. And there's only 15 lei as well, which I think is really good for the size of it that you get. We probably mm -hmm. could have done with one. We could have shared one. I think they come in all different shapes and sizes. It's really good. It's very similar to a barrette with cheese. And we love a barrette. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit fluffier, I would say. It doesn't a look lot, as crumbly. Mm -hmm, a lot more fluffy. You'd also find in the, um, in the bakeries that they have a lot of snacks similar to Romania. So they love pretzels and love a thing called a covery dog, which is like a hot dog in like a pastry, a pastry which is pretty cool. The best way to do these food tours by yourself is to walk the city because between each stop, you can make room for some more food. But the, the food here is it's really unique. Being that it was part of the Soviet Union from 1940 to 1991, you get that Russian sort of influence in the food. But then also being that Romanian is the language and it also used to be part of Romania, you get a huge Romanian influence. And that's why the national dish here is actually polenta, which we love and we've had a lot of time. It's like a corn, maize type thing, very similar to like a mashed potato, but out of corn. Um, I'm sure we'll be having a lot of that today. And we're actually gonna head to a restaurant for the bulk of this food tour, try like a few different dishes, a place we've been to before because we know how good the traditional food is, how reasonable the traditional food is, because it means the Moldovans come here themselves. It's not just a touristy trap, a tourist trap. You know, a traditional restaurant is a tourist trap. No rock. No rock. To the oh. one pound, I'm actually the 90p 
Chi it tastes beer. better than a canned Chisinau beer, that is for sure. And we are in, this kind of links into what we had this morning for breakfast, which is La Placinta. And this is the restaurant that is known to make what we ate earlier in all different styles. And we have gone for a lot. We've gone Let big. me tell you, we have go hard or go home. That is what we're going for. And there's just so much on this menu that I can eat. Like, look how beautiful it is. Pages of traditional food, but affordable traditional food yeah. in like a modern restaurant. It was really recommended to us. And it also comes up as one of the best restaurants here in Kishnau. And we have already been, but we're getting so much. Wow. We have a lot of food. Right, let me go through it all. So we have got the placenta, but this time it is with potato, and it's come out like a proper pizza. Placente. Placente. We have got sarmale, but this time we've had it a little bit different. We've had it before in Romania, but this time it looks like it's grape and cabbage vine leaves in a tomato sauce wrapped around well. minced meat. We have two sets of dumplings, cheese, potato, they and then brilliant. we have polenta, but they call it mamaliga here, and this is the national dish of Moldova. Right, I'm trying the placente first. You literally just tear it. It really is like a pizza. It's different to what we had earlier. We had cheese. This is potato, and it's one of them dishes that's just stuck around for generations. Look at that. Right, oh, it does look good. Mmm. Is it hot? Do you know what? This one is more like a pie. Mmm. You it have is that. More Dovin pie, though, to mm -hmm. be fair. The one we had for breakfast was more of a pastry. This is more like an actual pie. I am super excited. I'm actually going to try the sarmale because all oh, that is hot. It's actually come out in like a clay clay dish. They're mini. Um, they are honestly the cutest thing ever. They also come with like a tiny, well, a bit of tomato on the side. Oh my god. It smells so good. It's like a stew of sarmale. It's a sarmale stew. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. Do you know what that tastes like? It tastes like spaghetti bolognese sort of thing. Like a really tomato-y... Always loud cars everywhere. Really tomato-y, really like maybe a bit of basil. And then obviously there's rice that is so good. And it's baked. I love that. It's baked in a clay dish. I need to try this somale as well. Molly said there's rice. We had a lot of rice in them in Bulgaria, which they have a similar dish. But in Romania, it wasn't so much rice, it was more minced meat. And you have two different types. Yeah, there's definitely minced meat in there, but there's a lot of rice. And then there's tomato sauce. I presume it is grapevine leaves and cabbage leaves, the dark ones yeah, that's being cool. the latter, I yeah, think. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's good. Can you see what I mean about the taste? Mm. They're almost char grilled. Yeah. It tastes a lot different to them in Romania. In Romania, they're really packed with mince meat. They're a lot lighter here. It's not so leafy, is it? This is like no. very much like baked it's dish. A, it's lighter, baked in like the tomato sauce. They're really good. Now, when we come in here before, we did actually already try the dumplings, but we went for a different sort of inside and filling. We went for a potato this time. Um, now, there is a story with the dumplings. There is lazy dumplings and hard-working dumplings. I don't know the difference between the two, and I don't know I which one this is. I think they make you lazy, is. whichever one you eat, and it's so tired. I think one is more hard-working than the other, but... Mmm. Mmm. It has the same filling as the pie. Like, potatoes, herbs... They're really soft on the out on the inside, and on the outside it's like almost like a pasta. It kind of tastes like ravioli. So the Mama Liga actually comes with sour cream and cheese. I don't know it's really well with sour cream because I've had it before, but with the cheese as well, it's a really good combination. It's normally a side dish. It'd be something to accompany like your um, samale, something like this. But oh, your mitch actually. We've had it with mitch a few mm -hmm. times, but with wasps. Oh wait. <laughs> mm, that is good. It is really good. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of the samale, dip it in the sour a sour cream, a little bit of the mamaliga, a bit, a bit of, of the sour cream. So it's basically a cornbread, right? It is good. It's a substitute for potatoes. So it's mm. good there. The dishes, you can really see the influence from both Russia and Romania. Obviously, you get the dumplings across a lot of the ex-Soviet states, but then the Romanian influence with the Mamaliga Palenta um, and the Sarmale. But I just don't know the combinations. I can't figure out which dumpling I like most. I really like these ones with the mushrooms and potatoes, but then the ones with the cheese and the sour cream are just... Yeah. They're nice. The cheese and the sour cream is definitely the winner. Eyes too big for our belly. It's not even that. This food is just so It's so stodgy. Filling. Oh my god. It's so, what's the right word? It is filling. It's That's very just all filling. It is. It's very hearty. Hearty, heavy hearty food. food. Oh my god. And we've got to go somewhere else for dessert. This is. This is too much. We've overdone it. 
generally did not expect to get that much food in there. But for all of that, what do we have? Five dishes? Something like that. Let's say five or six dishes, four beers in the end, and it comes to 15 English pounds. Seriously, Moldova, the prices will blow you away in like a fancy traditional restaurant. But got another stop. One last stop. We need a dessert. And we actually have a really good traditional recommendation from our hotel, Thomas Albert. So we're gonna head, well, try to head, burn off this food so I can make room for a dessert. in traditional restaurant Chisinau. It doesn't come up with a list, it just gives the website for this place. So I was like, we need to come here and we got recommended from our hotel. We do have a beer to accompany our dessert, but because we are waiting for wine, we're gonna head to one of Moldova's famous wineries in a few days, so we're gonna keep it a surprise. But if you're doing a food tour, definitely try a Moldova wine. I'm gonna have to do this with an open full bar night. I'm gonna be careful. The live music is so loud. Wow, way too much Moldovan food. Who knew that Moldovan food was this heavy? From the pies to the dumplings filled with cheese, filled with potato. We definitely need a local to tell us to stop eating, but the food was actually incredible. A fusion between Romanian and Russian. Latifas, the restaurant at the end, definitely the most traditional restaurant you're gonna find here in Chisinau, but then La Placenta, where we had the majority of the dishes because basically it is cheap, modern, affordable, less than a pound for a beer. So we're really, really happy. Um, yeah, really love the food. Done a tour ourselves, a little DIY one, I would say. Loving the city, really loving the city. Um, hey Google, I've eaten too much food. On the website mdanderson.org, they say, eating too much food requires your organs to work harder. There you go, Google said I've eaten too much food and it's bad for my organs, but it's worth it. We're in Chisinau, we're enjoying our time. We've actually got so much more left to see in Moldova. And I'm so happy to be in this bed in Thomas Albert. It's so comfortable. I need a good night's sleep. We will see you in the next one. Power of you.